Hello everybody. Um, today I want to go over some problems on the sex-link traits worksheet. Um, sex-link traits are traits that are tied to the X or Y chromosome because those are the sex chromosomes. Um, today most of the problems are going to deal with color blindness or something called hemophilia, which is a uh, bleeding disease. Um, okay, so number one is important because if you don't understand number one, you can't do basically all the problems on this assignment. Okay, so number one says list Write the genotypes for the following phenotypes of color blindness. Okay, so a normal male. If you guys remember, males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. That's just a normal male. Okay, females have two X chromosomes. So they are XX. Now, a colorblind male like me, I still have an X and a Y chromosome. The difference is my X chromosome has a mutation on it. So to indicate that on here, I'm going to put a C in the top right hand corner. That C essentially stands for color blindness allele. So that allele on the, that my X, allele, on my X chromosome is messed up. It's mutated, which is why I have color blindness. Okay. Females can be normal, but also be called carriers. Okay. So if you remember, females have two X chromosomes. So they have a backup essentially. So a carrier is a female that has one normal X chromosome and one mutated X chromosome. The mutated X chromosome is recessive. So this allele is recessive to this one. So some of the females in the class, if you watch this, you might be a carrier. You're not colorblind, but you could potentially pass this X on to your child who could then therefore become colorblind later on. So you're called a carrier. Okay, and then a colorblind female, which is extremely rare, like one out of 150, 160 females, extremely rare. The only way a female can be colorblind is if both of her X chromosomes have that mutated allele. Okay, because it's recessive. The only way to have a recessive trait is to have both recessive alleles. Okay, you need to keep this in mind as I do the rest of the problems. Okay, so number two, it says uh, create a pun square, and it gives you the genotypes. It says you have XX, which is a normal female, and XCY, which is a colorblind male. Okay, so all you have to do is fill in the pundit square like normal. Now, remember, XC is recessive. So if you have one regular X and one XC, put the XC second. Now, I know it's not lowercase like we were doing in the previous chapters, but that C up there tells you it's recessive. Okay, the next block is the same thing, XXC. Then we have XY. Then we have XY. Okay, so it says, 2A says, what percentage of the male children will be colorblind? Well, here are the two males. They're both regular, so 0%. Okay, B says, what percent of the female children will be colorblind? These are the two females. Neither one is colorblind. To be colorblind, you have to have both the X's messed up. These are each carriers. So again, the answer is 0%. Okay, let me erase that. Um, I'm going to skip three, or three, uh, I'll go to try number four. You guys can do three in your own. It says, what is the probability that a colorblind woman who marries a man with normal vision will have a colorblind child? Okay, so first it says, what are the parents' genotypes for A? We have a colorblind woman. So if you look above, I just erased it, a colorblind woman is XCXC. And then I'm going to put that X there, which is not to be confused with an X chromosome, that's the X that means they're being mated with each other with a cross. And it says marries a man with normal vision. So ma normal man is X, Y. Okay, now I'm going to create the Punnett square. I'll come back and do B and C in a minute after we do the Punnett square. Okay, so I'm going to take the two, the parents' genotypes, which we just wrote, put them on the blocks, okay, and then fill in X, X, C, X, X, C, X, C, Y, X, C, Y. Okay, so it says what percentage of the males will be colorblind? So here are the two males. Both of them have the messed up X, the mutated X. So 100% of all male children from this cross would be colorblind. Okay, basically if your mom is colorblind, all of her sons have to be colorblind because the female gives the X to the male. And if the female is colorblind, she automatically makes the, the sons colorblind. Okay, what about the women? We have two women here, these two. Neither one's colorblind, they're both carriers. So 0% colorblind. Okay, I'm going to erase that. 
Um, flip to the back. Um, let's try number eight. Number eight, I'm now going to move into hemophilia, which is another recessive X-linked trait. Instead of using a C for color blends, I'm going to use an H for hemophilia. Okay, so it says a phenotypically normal woman. So she is normal. So for X or 8A, she's just XX. Okay, she, a phenotypically normal woman has phenotypically normal parents. Um, however, she has a hemophiliac brother. Okay. Um, give me a second here. A hemophiliac brother. Okay, so I'm going to actually come back to this. This may change. So let's draw a pun square. I'll put it over here. Okay, so we have a woman whose brother is hemophiliac. So first, let me just put this up here. We know the man and the woman have XX and XY. I'm going to fill this in like this first. This one you have to do a little bit of uh, deduction. Okay, so it says the brother. So let's pretend this is the woman that we're talking about right here, okay? This is the woman in the problem. She could be that one too. It's one of the two. She says her brother, which would be one of these two, has hemophilia. So that means at least one of these has to have an H on it. That's an H right there, meaning hemophilia. Now, where did that XH come from? It had to have come from the mother, okay? Because the mother gives the X to the kid, okay? So that makes this girl right here also have a, an H there. Okay, so what is the genotype of the mother? So the mother is a carrier. Even though she's normal, she does not have hemophilia, she passed on that trait to her son. So the woman, the mother, I should say, is XXH. She is a carrier. The father is just a normal man, just XY. Okay, the brother, we know he has hemophilia. There's only one option. He's this, XHY. So this is the brother that we're talking about here. I'm just going to write bro. Okay, um, and then D, it says, what are her chances of being a carrier? So the woman is either one of these two. I know I wrote woman to, to this one, but we don't know which one's the woman. She's one of those two. So she has a 50% chance to be a carrier, 50% chance to be normal. So for D, we're going to write 50%, because the woman's one of these two. The brother we know is this one because he has hemophilia. Okay. I'm going to erase that now. You guys can try the rest of the problems on that page. Uh, let's see how much time I got. Okay. Um, I will do number... I'm going to skip number 10. I want you guys to try number 10. Some of you guys are going to be confused on it. Um, number 10 refers to birds. Birds use, instead of the X and Y chromosome, they use Z and W chromosomes. They're just their names. Um, so I want you guys to try number 10. I know some of you guys are going to struggle on that one. I don't have time to go over because I only have 15 minutes in these videos, but please try number 10. If you're a little confused on that one, that's not a big deal. We're, the main thing I want you guys to understand is human chromosomes. Okay, I will do number 11 next. It says, what chromosome generally carries the sex link trait? As you guys have seen in every example I've done so far, the X chromosome almost always carries sex link traits. The reason is the X chromosome is really large. It has like a thousand or so genes on it. The Y chromosome is extremely tiny. It only carries like 100 genes on it. So Y chromosomes are don't have a lot of important genes on it because think about it, 50% of the population are women. They don't have Y chromosomes. So the Y chromosome does not have any genes that are necessary for life. You can live without a Y chromosome. You can't live without an X chromosome. Okay, 12. Why must male, human males inherit colorblindness or hemophilia from their mothers? Okay, so think about it. I'm colorblind. My genotype, don't write this down. My genotype is... X, Y, and I have that messed up X. Think about it. This Y chromosome automatically came from my dad. Only males have Y chromosomes. So my dad gave me a Y chromosome. This messed up X came from my mom. I have, it, I have to have an X, and it has to come from my mom. My mom has two Xs. One of them comes to me. So my mom made me colorblind. My dad had nothing to do with it. It wouldn't have mattered if my dad was colorblind, normal vision, or whatever. He has nothing to do with it. 
it only matters for the mom, at least as far as sons go. So the answer is because mothers pass X chromosomes to their sons. Okay, dads don't. Okay, and then 13, why is color blindness or hemophilia more common in males than in females? Okay, males only have one X chromosome. Females have two, so females have a backup copy. Okay, males only need one messed up copy. Males only need one mutated X, whereas females need two. Okay, or maybe I'll even add this, X, C, Y, and then females need to be X, C, X, C. Okay, so females are rarely colorblind or rarely have hemophilia. It's possible, but it's very rare. Okay, I'm going to erase that, and I want to do the last problem, which is the pedigree. So give me a second, I have to do this quickly because I only have four minutes. Okay, I'm going to do this quick. On this pedigree, we're going to write the genotypes of each person in relationship to hemophilia. Okay, so first, all the women I'm going to go through and I'm going to write XX. And then all the males I'm going to go through and I'm going to write XY. Okay, now, if you guys remember, if they're shaded in, which I forgot to shade in a couple of these people, it means they have the trait. Okay, so this male has hemophilia. It's going to be real tiny. I'm going to add a little H right here. So here, I'll make it bigger. X, H, Y. Okay. This male also is hemophilia, has hemophilia. So I'm going to put an H right there. And then this woman has hemophilia. So she has to have both of her H's or both of her X's have that mutated allele. So X, H, X, H. Okay. Now I can go and try to figure out the other people that are normal. Okay. So... If you look, this female right here, she got one X from dad, but she got one X from mom. So both of her X's have that mutation on it. So this mother in the first generation, she has to be a carrier. Okay, so I'm going to put that little H there. Now, I mentioned this earlier in the chapter. Sometimes you guys are going to see things that are half-shaded in. A half-shaded in circle like this means that this person's a carrier. They're not hemophiliac, but they are a carrier. Okay, moving on, um, let's see here. This dad has to give an X to the daughter, each daughter. So he only has one eight X to give. He automatically gives the messed up one because it's the only thing he has to give. We know the mother didn't give a messed up one because if she did, then these two girls would have hemophilia. And then these two men, we know they don't have hemophilia, so we know that they are just normal. Okay, I have two minutes left. Okay, so the two problems, they're not late, they're not numbered, or but I'm just going to put an A, otherwise it's problem 14. Uh, it says, couple 2A and 2-2, two, two, so sorry, 2-1 and 2-2, two, two, so that's these two right here, have a child. What percent chance will they be colorblind? Make a Punnett square. I'm going to have to make it real tiny here, so I'm going to put these two on the Punnett square, XY, XH, XH, let's fill it in, XXH. X, H, Y, X, X, H, X, H, Y. Okay, so what percent is the child going to have hemophilia? So basically both men, or all the men will have hemophilia, none of the females will. So 50% of all their kids will have hemophilia. All the sons will, none of the females will. Okay, and then the last problem says couple 2, 5 and 2, 6, which are these ones. So let's do one more small pun and square. Okay, so I'm going to put XXH, XY, then fill it in, XX, XXH, XY, XHY. Okay, now this time, if you notice, 50% of the males will be colorblind, none of the females. So that comes out to a total of 25% of the children. 25% will have hemophilia. Okay, um, my time's running out. I want you guys to try the rest of the problems I didn't. If you guys have any questions on these, please let me know. Turn this in by Friday at 10 a.m.